Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Timothy Sparks, and this is another video. Today we're going to be discussing how you're probably using your VPN wrong. Some of the common mistakes I've seen um, to help you guys out. Also guys, if you're looking for a new VPN, as always, you've come to the best place. As you guys know, I made VPN tier list, the very first one. I have the URL, vpntierlist.com. Take the quiz on the website, check out some of my top rated VPNs. They've kind of shifted around a bit lately. Um, make sure you're using at least an A tier VPN provider. I'm also gonna be putting my top rated VPN in the description down below with a discount, as well as a uh, promo code or a promo link for this upcoming sponsor. Are you guys ever worried about getting doxxed? I know I am, and that's why I use a service like Incogni to make sure no one could find my IRL information if they find my name. A service like Incogni goes through all the available data brokers out there like White Pages and these different websites. It will tell these websites to remove your information and it saves you tons of time. Use my link in the description down below to get 50% off Incogni as you see here on this website to get this deal. This is my top rated data broker removal tool. It's around half the price of competing services like Delete Me and it has a better interface to boot. So thanks for checking out this one and let's get back to the video. All right, guys, so what are some of the common things that people do wrong uh, with a VPN? Well, let's go ahead and discuss that and I'll connect to my VPN right now. So honestly, probably the number one thing is that uh, people kind of forget to turn the VPN on. I've seen this, it, it sounds like a stupid mistake, but honestly, it does kind of make sense. And why is that? Well, that's because when you're using your VPN for certain things like torrenting, you might not want to use it all the time. Now, what are some ways to remedy just forgetting to turn the VPN on. Well, let's say using NordVPN. Nord is my top rated VPN right now. Like I said, a link in the description down below if you wanna check it out or check out the review as well. Just reviewed it a couple of days ago. Um, but one of the things you could do is make sure it auto starts. This is a way to kind of make it so you can't forget. So you can launch the app at Windows Startup um, and you can even launch the app Minimized. Um, so that is pretty cool. So it's just automatically gonna start when you're on your computer um and you should just be connected um some other ways you could kind of make this uh, a thing if you want let's say you want to split tunnel now what is split tunneling well let's say you want to use your vpn on all the time but you don't want it to affect your gaming you can actually configure um if it's disabled or enabled for specific apps so that's a good way to make sure you don't forget to put it on is just by having it on all the time and not being annoying with it Number two mistake that I see is people not using kill switches. Now, what is a kill switch? Well, basically a kill switch is exactly what it sounds like. Basically, it makes sure that your, um, if your VPN has some kind of issue or something like that, it's going to kill your internet so you have no leaks. As you can see with Nord, we have that in the kill switch section, internet and application kill switch, which is nice. I don't know if they always had both of these options, but it could kill a specific application or just disable your internet if you're not connected to Nord. This kind of connects with my first example as well. If you forget to turn it on, this is like if you forget that you're having issues or something like that, which isn't that common, but still definitely a good trick to take advantage that some people don't know about. Number three is not using a SOX 5 proxy. Now, another reason I like Nord lately is that they have very good speeds, a good server network and so forth. But another feature they have is a SOX 5 proxy. Now, not every VPN offers this feature. I don't think Tor uh, uh, Proton does actually, um, but NordVPN included with the account subscription is a SOX 5 proxy list. All you pretty much do is just copy and paste this, go to your Qubit Torn application, paste it here, enter your authentication for your NordVPN account, click save and you're gonna anonymize and pretty much hide your IP address when torrenting. Uh, so you don't even have to turn your VPN on for torrenting. Pretty cool. And something that some people don't really remember or even know about, which is pretty cool. Another little trick um, that people kind of make mistakes with VPN is just paying too much. And this is kind of a shilling for my own website, but all these links on my website, vpntheorist.com, if you click on these links, they will give you the best prices. They're affiliate links, of course, but affiliate links give you discounts. So as you see, if you click on this link, you should, you should be able to get the best deal going on right now, 71%, and you get three free months. So pretty nice. All right, guys, another one is that not using privacy.com to prevent auto renewals from VPNs you don't want. This is one of my favorite services out there 
basically what this does is it connects to your bank account if you're in the United States. I think in, in, in Europe, something called Revolut is commonly used, um, but unfortunately only available in the United States. But what it does is it makes it so services can't charge you past a certain threshold. Let's say you want to make a card for a hundred dollars cap on um, pay for Nord or something like that. After that, um, they're not going to be able to charge you anymore. So pretty cool service gives you control of your kind of debit cards. It, it lets you just kind of like make one out of thin air and then also burn it to create online pollution. I don't know about that analogy, but I do know that this service is very good and it's free to use. So that is definitely a plus. I'm not sponsored by them, by the way. All right, guys, those are some of the common mistakes that I've found. What are some more? Now, another common mistake could be maybe you're just kind of forgetting to update your VPN provider. Now with Nord, I do like it because um, it, it has like a big button that kind of pops up here. It, it will usually be around this area. So just make sure to stay up to date. And lastly, I would say the biggest mistake that people kind of make with VPNs half the time is kind of think they do everything for you. Now, one thing is, is that VPNs do kind of do a lot nowadays. And VPNs like Nord have kind of included different products that do different things that complement each other very well, whether it be password manager, encrypted cloud storage, um, kind of antivirus capabilities into the VPN. So back in the day, you know, someone might say, VPNs don't do everything for you. They're kind of getting more to do that at a certain point, but still VPNs don't have everything. And that's why you do need some things like a very good browser. Brave browser is good on um, blocks, cookies and stuff like that. So make sure to check out some additional privacy tools um, that can help you overall. Anyways, guys, thanks for checking out this video and I'll see you again very soon.